Hello and welcome to the um, IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about entry-level IT experience and my opinion about it. So it's a little bit like the chicken and the egg syndrome. Often you read um, job descriptions and it's an entry-level position, but then you read the fine print, if you want to call it like that. And the uh, job description says you need two to three years experience. Well, how can that be entry-level? if um, two to three years of job experience is required. Two to three years is realistically um, already mid-level job experience. It is very frustrating to see that entry-level IT jobs um, really have this requirement. So it's like, um, okay, who's responsible for this? Where does this come from? So is it the hiring manager? Is it HR? Or is it a combination of those two? So um, here's my opinion. So in a certain way, I think it's um, related to how much you are willing to pay for the position. Um, the manager probably needs somebody with two to three years experience. That's probably really what the IT manager or the hiring manager is after. However, based on the pay that the company is willing to pay or um, where that position is rated at, um, it is an entry-level position. So, and that's where HR potentially comes into the mix and HR should really have the numbers for what do you have to pay for a certain position in this market where this company or this position is located. In that perspective, really, um, it's a combination of that. And um, I really think that makes it so difficult for people who want to break into IT to really find the right job to apply for. They're becoming probably frustrated and demotivated seeing all these positions um, asking for two to three years experience, but it's an entry level and so it's a chicken and the egg. Whatever comes first, do you get your job experience first and then that or do you get the job first and then you build up the job experience? So it's it's a little frustrating. It's a difficult situation and um, my recommendation is just in case you already have one plus years of IT job experience, do not apply for an entry level job apply for a mid-level job that's much more much more suited for you and uh, yes it might be a quick challenge or a challenge in the beginning but uh, you will be better off in that place so how do you deal with a situation like this so you want to break into it you might have a certification or two you have worked in some jobs but you didn't have an it job so really how do you approach that situation so you're looking at the job description it says you need at least two years experience so um, my recommendation is you really look at the job description in detail and then you make the decision. So if you look at the job description and the basic requirements outside of job experience, do you have the skill set and the knowledge that is required for this job? If you feel you have that skill set and you learned enough through going through certifications, working on the site here and there, fixing computers at home, then uh, it's like, no, that's a, a first good point. You can apply for this position. So um, what are the technical requirements uh, really? Is it a stretch for you or is it something you would feel comfortable? Yes, it might be a challenge, but do you think you really can do the job specifically from the technical side? So also read the job description and find out are these things that are specifically um, required for this company, for is it a company specific item? So if you think about it, maybe they have their proprietary applications that need to be supported. So that application might be in the job description and you have no idea what it is. So um, if they call it Nighthawk or whatever, and you search for Nighthawk on the internet, yeah, you might not necessarily find um, a certain software application for that company or that that company is using. You might find the uh, Netgear Nighthawk uh, Wi-Fi mesh system. So. I look at this, I really, I try to identify what is proprietary and what is generic, something that you can learn um, by picking up a book, by watching YouTube videos, buying a training class on Udemy or wherever else. So do this and build a list actually out from all the job requirements. And I have a little system that I want to um, give to you and uh, maybe that works. I'm not necessarily guaranteeing that this works, but it helps a little bit with really taking this apart. So take a look at the job description and split the uh, job description in three areas. So you want to split it into, yes, I know this. Um, yeah, I have a decent understanding, but I'm not probably fully skilled on this. And third, 
um, I have no knowledge about it. So split the job description into these three areas, move the items uh, that apply into the appropriate area, and then you give it points. So if you know something and it's like, no, I got this, this is easy, you give it three points. If it's in category number two, where you have a little bit of knowledge, but you're not fully proficient, you give it one point. And if it's something you absolutely don't know, you take a point away. So now you build uh, really this uh, classification or the categorization, you get a point number. And then based on the points, um, you can pretty much tell it's like, no, I should be able to do the job. I will apply for this position. So let's say there's a maximum point, num point number available. So let's say 21. And you're ending up with over 50% of this 21. So let's say you have 12 points or 11 points, somewhere in that range. It's like, yeah, it's, it might be a stretch for you, but overall there's enough compelling that should allow you to do the job. Of course, the closer you get to, in this example, to 21, the better. So if your number is in the single digits, um, yeah, it's most likely uh, too much and um, any hiring manager would really take a high risk in hiring you. So um, stay away from that. So my recommendation is look at it. If you are 50% and higher of the point number from the maximum number of points available, then go and take a closer look. I mean, the higher up again, um, the better, but um, if you're below 50%, I would not apply. I mean, just save yourself the time and the disappointment and uh, find a different position. So then also, when you apply for a position, does it really require the two years of experience? So um, I would say, don't let this scare you away. Be bold. Um, really go and apply. And you don't necessarily want to point out that you do not have that job experience. You really just want to go and I have this, I have this, I have this, I know this, I know this, um, here's what I did, blah, blah, blah. So you only point out the positive things, ignore the bad stuff, ignore the hiring requirement of two years job experience. Do not let this take you away from applying. Do not mention it in the interview. No one will take a look if everything else in your resume is compelling enough that they want to pick up the phone and talk to you. So that's really my talk about the um, job requirements, the IT experience requirements that many job descriptions have. Take it with a grain of salt. Look at the position in detail. If there's really compelling knowledge that you have and you feel like, no, I should be able to do that job. I don't have the two years. I, I, I don't have any years of job experience. It's like be bold, apply but write your resume, write your cover letter appropriate enough, positive enough. But uh, don't be afraid. Don't let the uh, missing job experience scare you away. It's a chicken and the egg thing. And again, um, the hiring manager might need somebody with two years. HR says, no, you can only pay this much. And so it turns into an entry level position based on pay. And um, yeah, there's a mismatch. So, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It will really help me. Um, please ask any questions in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I publish videos usually weekly. So um, there's a notification bell next to the um, subscribe button. Please click on that as well. And then I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.